in the late 50s, all of IBM's existing product lines were running out of steam, principally because they didn't have enough memory. Customers had discovered that they needed more memory than they had installed on their machines, and the machines couldn't address any more memory. The basic concept was that we would replace all the existing product lines. In January of 1961, we had a day-long winter carnival in which corporate brass came and listened to our plan. And almost everybody thought that was a good plan, except senior vice president, Vin Learson. And he went home that night and uh, brought in a new person called Bob Evans and told him, if this plan is right, make it happen, and if it's wrong, change it. And so we fought for six months. The plan I was arguing for was something we could do now. The plan he was arguing for was something that would involve waiting until first shipments in 1965. We went with his plan, and it turned out to be a winner. Bob called a meeting of all the engineering managers up at Saratoga Springs to reorganize the lab and set up all new projects, kill all the old projects. To my utter amazement, he asked me if I would take the new product line under his reorganization. I was stunned. We, we had been scrapping back and forth, and he, here he is offering me the crown jewels. I was amazed. Bob was a very big man. In spirit, in attitude, he's the greatest boss I ever had. It was a challenge that nobody had undertaken before to make a compatible computer family line, and we didn't know whether we could do it. There was a Fortune magazine article in the fall of 66 called IBM's $5 billion gamble. The computer business must have been 70 or 80% of the company at that point. And we were putting it all at risk. It was hard. The making the technology work in the manufacturing was hard. But you're proud to be working for leadership that's willing to, to step out and say, we, yeah, we'll take this adventure on. And we, if we win, we win big. And if we lose, we lose big. My purpose this morning is to discuss with you the technical aspects of the announcement. I think this might be useful because the magnitude of this is somewhat bewildering. We made a general purpose product line that used the same machine for all kinds of applications. You could configure the system according to the application, and yet the computer at the heart of it was still the same. That simple principle is what the clients need all the time. That's why it's, it's, so, it's so successful, and it has lasted so long. I think in the last count, more than 60-70% uh, of all the data in the world is residing on System 360s. That's quite incredible.